Uh, my name is uh, Stone Atwine, and uh, my company is uh, Eversend. And uh, we basically do cross-border money transfer. I will start by uh, telling you the issue, really, uh, with uh, money transfer is that it's terribly expensive, uh, it's inconvenient, and it's sneaky. They don't tell you all the money that you pay um, when you're moving money. The African market has not been disrupted at all. One of the things we hear very often when you present a business like this is uh, that's a saturated market. Not very true. The UK government with the UK aid recently did a research that shows that 90% of money leaving the UK going to Africa is still uh, being done with uh, brick, and uh, brick and mortar uh, money transfer agents. So the challenge really is uh, uh, that 90% of the business is not done yet. So this is what we're trying to do. And uh, what we've done is that we've built uh, a mobile application uh, that uh, uh, you can use to send money, uh, also exchange currencies. And we are adding things like um, travel insurance uh, into the mobile application and payment of other bills like water, tuition, and things like that. But we are focusing on the African market. So we have three things that we do. We send money from the rest of the world to Africa. That's our business right now. But we are focusing now on two intra-Africa money transfer, transfers within Africa, and money leaving the continent to the rest of the world. Because nobody is doing that. If you want to move money now, it's either a bank that is going to charge you 50 60 70 uh, dollars or uh, money transfer companies like MoneyGram or Western Union. The market, I'm not going to go into detail here, but it's a huge uh, market. Into Africa is 40 billion. That's what everybody is focusing on. Uh, but from Africa is 12 billion, and within Africa is slightly more than 12 billion. And nobody is playing in this market, so that's our game right now. Uh, revenue channels, right now we charge transaction fees and commission from um, foreign exchange. And also we get some uh, commission from billers, so people we collect payments for. But we think uh, the market is going into uh, a, a situation where you get commission from uh, referrals for your customers. And also uh, we intend to do premium, uh, uh, premium accounts uh, uh, subscription. So we're going to change that uh, a little later. We think that's where the market is going. For transfers into Africa so far, we've moved about 2.6 million. Uh, the revenue seems a bit high as a percentage because we were really expensive in the beginning. So every saving we make, uh, we put that, we give that to our customers. We've done um, 19,000 transfers. That's it. Thank you so much, Stone. Yeah. That was great. That's my team. Myself and David were based in uh, Paris, Stone, and the rest Stone, of the team Stone, is in Stone. Uganda. I'm Thank sorry, you very much. I'm sorry, right. sorry, 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 sorry. We will move on to the jury. Same rules for everyone. Okay. Awesome. So uh, I work for 500 startups, so we're obsessed with like early stage growth. So my question is in that vein. Who are your early customers? Very, very narrow focus. Your first 1,000 customers. Who are they? And why are they desperate for you? All right. Um, um, so I'm going to answer the question in two uh, short ways. One, the business we've been doing so far is uh, people sending money from uh, Europe into Africa, but that's, uh, our focus is changing. So now our new customer is somebody sending money either for business or personal use within Africa. So let's say from Nigeria to Ghana or from uh, Kenya to Uganda or somebody sending money from Africa to the rest of the world. So we are focusing on the African sender who has no option at this point. But that's a huge, huge volume. Within that volume of just, say, Nigeria to Ghana, the first thousand people, what are they going to look like and why are they going to pick you? All right. So this is, uh, uh, we've already seen this. So this is uh, people who are moving money for personal reasons. So I want to help out uh, a friend of mine in another country. I know this guy needs money. I need to move $100, $200, small volume transactions. That's where we can play very well. So small volume transactions within uh, Africa. Awesome. Thank you. All right.
Good. Uh, I still have some challenges positioning this, but by yes. uh, representing angels, so just what do you need for that to continue and enter? What kind of investment are you looking for? Okay, so we haven't really gone through the numbers very well to figure the exact number, but we know for sure that we're going to be raising uh, anywhere between 500,000 and 750,000. Okay, and uh, where are you mainly located? Just to, is it more, uh, you're doing it from Africa or you're based still Europe? Where, where is your home base? Now our focus is going to be from Africa to the rest of the world and within Africa. It doesn't make a big difference as long as you figure who the sender is. Where they send is easy because we have these partnerships already with companies, say, in the UK that can help us distribute money to 30 countries. But the company, technically? The company, you... technically, is uh, headquartered in Paris. Paris, thank you. Yeah, but we... Are, all right. <laughs> So, so one of the reasons why transferring money into Africa is expensive is because there's the last mile sort of network yes. where you need to get it to bricks and mortar stores yes. and to the individuals. What, uh, you're, I know you're flipping that around and you're going out of Africa now. Is, it, is the money going into bank accounts? Is it going to individuals as cash? How, what's the usage it's for going, out of Africa? It's going to into multiple channels. So it's going into bank accounts. It's going into mobile money in markets that have mobile money. So for example, we're already testing Uganda, Kenya, mobile Mesa. money to mobile money yeah. because M-Pesa doesn't talk to MT and mobile money. You can't send money across borders like that. Uh, but so it's going to be uh, multiple channels, banking, bank accounts, mobile money. All right, good. Uh, one, one more question. So uh, the solution, you showed the smartphone solutions. Is it mainly for smartphone? Is an app the main uh, product? So again, uh, it's very easy for us uh, to do other channels. So some of uh, the other channels we're doing are USSD. So you can use your $10 phone to do this. And uh, also chatbots like on Facebook and uh, web apps, yeah. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Stone from Everson, that was great.